a look back. That is what I titled today's vlog. It has been a year since this pandemic has started. And I thought it would be appropriate for me to share how I feel about it. And maybe, maybe share something that, that you're feeling that, in the same sense. So I hope you don't mind. It has been a really hard year. It's been a year since I was furloughed from a job that I care about. Forced to retreating to home. Basically becoming a hermit. Unsure of what was going to happen. Fearing for our lives. Feelings of being unsure was really painful. Family interaction was was what hurts the most, or what is what hurts the most. We had to change things up for the safety of those we love. I mean, I can't see my. I mean, my brother's in another state, but I. You know, we are planning on doing, you know, summer trips and hanging out and, um, you know, all this stuff. And I can't see, um, or I can see my nieces and my, my sister for from a distance, but we can't just hang out anymore. And that was something that was really hard for, for me to deal with because I, I enjoy being with my nieces and... Um, spending time with my sister and brother-in-law. Just family, you know? We also really, we were really, uh, I think taking care of ourselves and our well-being was something that needed needed to be um, brought forward because I think a lot of us tend to forget about our health. And toilet paper. Yeah. It was hard to find toilet paper. It was hard to find pretty much anything. Everything was just flipped upside down in a matter of days. People lost their jobs. Their businesses. People have lost lives, loved ones, because of this. Yeah, it really was flipped. And unfortunately, I think it's still spinning. I mean, I, I've done my share of cooking and baking, worrying, but it also got me thinking. So not only it was a year of the pandemic, but it was also it's also been a year since I started this channel. I got to thinking on why not vlog, why not vlog about life and its lessons. This is one of them. Every lesson that I have learned was something that was needed and I've, I've overcome. And I thought it was appropriate for me to share that with you guys because it kept my mind afloat. I wasn't really worrying about much. I was just kind of talking with you guys about the good times and 
some of the bad times and just interaction. I talked about just everything. Pandemic has taught me a lot over this time um, of being grateful for who we have and the things that we have in our lives. Because before the pandemic, we were always just moving and going on to the next. But we weren't taking the time and just being there for our families, listening, talking. But it also taught me to love more as well. Kyle's vlog was something that was just kind of sprung up and really it's it's to help me too but it's to help you guys as well I do this to remind myself of what I've been through and how I was able to overcome it but I do this to help you because you might be going through that yourself and you could use that whatever I'm sharing with you to better yourselves I mean it brings back memories when I talk about these things. And I'm just so grateful that I'm able to. I'm, I'm grateful that. Um, 49 subscribers. I hope they feel that way. I hope that they feel. Whatever I do on here. Whatever up. Whatever video I upload, I pray that they feel inspired. I pray that they feel good. They have a good laugh. Because laughter is good medicine too, you know? At least that's what I think. But 49 subscribers. I got like 30% that are always watching, and then I got 80% that are just hanging out, watching, but they're not subscribed. And that's okay. But I aim to do three things with every video. And that's to help, encourage, and inspire you guys. If I can't do that, then I'm not doing what I intended on here. But I believe that we can reach more. See, I was a very shy kid in school. Very shy. I very much stayed to myself. There's a few people that I talked to, but uh, yeah, that that's a that that was tough. Cause I, I had friends that I had, but are no longer friends with me. Um, but anyways, I was very shy. I was very to myself. I didn't know how to open up. Because of the, the bullying that I experienced. But. I want. To be the voice. I want to be a voice for the voiceless. I want this. To hopefully encourage you guys. To not be like how I was. Talk to someone who. You care about. Talk to someone who cares for you. There's always someone there for you, whether it's your dad, mom, both parents, grandparents, siblings, um, whatever it may be that can help you kind of get out of your comfort zone that is what I hope for. I, I mean, once I started opening up, it just everything felt more easier in a sense and so when i talk about the things that i talk about on here 
it's because I do care about it. Or I'm worried about it. Or I'm I'm in hope that things can change or will th- will change. I just don't want you to go through what I went through and feel like you're alone. I want you to look back at these videos and say, oh yeah, Kyle's vlog. Kyle had gone through this and he had said I he had suggested for me to look at it this way. And that's that's what I'm gonna do. And I feel like you'll have a better sense of things when you just take that time because Yes, I'm sharing these videos, but in a, in, in reality, you are re- reflecting on yourself. Um, so yeah, I mean, this pandemic has been hard. Thanksgiving was really hard. Christmas was really hard. I mean, everything was difficult. Everything is still kind of difficult. But we'll get through this. We will. I think something that I, I take from this is is also, um, and I know this is a different circumstance, but 9-11, everything was, it was just dark, right? But our, everybody, everybody came to each other's aid. Everybody came, everybody was just looking out for one another. What happened? Yes, I know that this pandemic, you know, everybody's going through something or more. And yes, you still have to wear your mask and social distance, and but there's still ways that you can show care to one another. And that's one of the reasons why I do these outreach videos. To encourage you guys to go out and do the same thing for someone. Get that message across so then other people will feel obligated or feel inspired to do it. So yeah, I mean... The pandemic has been really tough, but it it has also helped me reflect. It's helped me to really just look back and, and be grateful. And it's also helped me to look forward to what's to come. If we can get through this, we can get through anything. That's today's vlog, guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I um, appreciate you guys, for real. Um, you guys are awesome. And I do plan to upload tomorrow and Thursday as I'm off. Um, I do work Friday and Saturday. But I will figure something out to, to upload. Probably Saturday, more, more better to do. Um, but until then, I mean, you got these videos, this one. My other ones, and then, um, yeah, got some some coming up. So I'll just be on the lookout for that, okay? Remember, live the moment, never fear change, and keep the faith. This is Kyle Lewis, Kyle Louie. Kyle Louie out.